Welcome back to the program for beer number two in the 2023 Oktoberfest uh, beer reviews here on This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, this one here featuring another in-state Ohio uh, brewery. This one here is Third Eye Brewing Company. And they are out of Sharonville, Ohio. And let's see here. This fest beer mimics what is served in Germany for the annual Oktoberfest celebration. So it's called, forgive me, Drittes Augi, Drittes Augi. So German for Third Eye, so Third Eye Oktoberfest. So the back of it says it mimics uh, the beer that is served for the annual Oktoberfest celebration. Drittes Augi, Augi is a smooth, clean, pale German lager that showcases elegant, bready malt character without being too heavy or filling. Uh, it's a well-balanced, medium-bodied, and finished, finishes with a light sweetness that contributes to the excellent drinkability. Uh, ABV on this, do we got it listed here? 5.7% and 21 IBU. So uh, the first one I did was closer to 7, and this is more in the, uh, in the area that's expected for the style. So it says Third Eye Brewing, live life, do good, drink beer. So we use the low and brow unique uh you know mug here oktoberfest why not right so i'm gonna crack it open get a pour on it while i'm doing that hit that like button uh i hope you hit the like button uh subscribe if you're not already and hit that notification bell stay current so over the next uh several days i'll be releasing some um oktoberfest uh beer reviews here on the channel well, now this is creating, and this is recently rinsed glass. I don't use these mugs too often. So I pulled them off the shelf over there, rinsed them up real good before I do each review. So there's decent carbonation in here. This actually produced a way better um, head on it than that first uh, the first one I reviewed here on the channel. I mean, we're talking good three fingers there. And this is frothy. This is a frothy looking head. Actually looks very good. Uh, it's got that, you know, it's much more clear than um, the first one I reviewed here on the channel for 2023 was. Very clear, almost that golden color instead of the caramel color that you'd expect from um, an Oktoberfest style lager. And this is a Fest beer, uh, as was the first one that I reviewed here this year. So, we get a little bit more in there. So, just a nice, frothy, pillowy white head up on top of this. Go. Nice clarity to it, very clear. Huh. This has got more of that um, lemony zesty zestiness than um, any malty caramel uh, flavor. Definitely has a sweetness in the aroma. What do, what do we say about it here? Yeah. Mm, I get like a raw breadiness to it. The first one, you know, and this is number two for this year, was fresh baked bread, fresh baked uh, biscuits or something like that. This is more of a raw yeastiness. So, let's get a drink on it. Okay. This definitely has more of a mild sweet malty finish to it uh it says medium body but this is light this is very thin my opinion but that thin body actually makes it uh very crisp um almost refreshing really but very crisp crisp snap snappiness to it Good carbonation, not crazy or anything like that, but I do still feel a little bit of a mild prickliness dancing on the tongue there. This one finishes much drier uh, than the first one there that I did this year. So Third Eye Brewing, uh, Third Eye Brewing Oktoberfest, 5.7% uh, 21 IBU. You know, it's, it's got kind of, kind of just a zesty, zestiness. Not a lot of caramel maltiness that you might expect 
uh, from this style, um, which is a little disappointing, but uh, it's still super easy drinking beer. Uh, as far as scoring this, I'm going to give this one about a 3.85 um, out of 5. I have no problem finishing it off because it is just, it's a very light drinker. Um, like I said, crisp, refreshing. Um, but I just wish it had more of that caramel, uh, multi, um, just a little bit more of a multi, um, multiness to a multi backbone to it. Anyhow, excuse me. Thanks for watching.